Hi, my name is Lucinda Robb, and I'm taping this from my basement office to wish the 19th Amendment a happy 100th birthday. Now, the 19th Amendment and I go back a long ways, and I mean that literally. 25 years ago, when I worked at the National Archives, I was fortunate enough to be part of a small team who accompanied the amendment to a special women's suffrage exhibit in Austin, Texas. As with any of our priceless documents that travel outside of the building, the Preservation Department made a unique, one-of-a-kind custom case to protect the amendment on its journey. I'll never forget that day when we left the holding dock of the archives for the airport and the ceremonial police escort with their sirens blazing all the way to Reagan National. Of course, if you're wondering, I can confirm that amendments to the Constitution do not go in the overhead bin. They get their very own seats in business class. Now, in all seriousness, that trip and the excitement of being so close to history remains one of the biggest thrills of my life. But the 19th Amendment is more than just a piece of paper. I like to think of it as a rung on the ladder of American democracy, a ladder that we're always climbing. Now, as important as the 19th Amendment was in expanding suffrage to women, or more accurately, eliminating gender as a reason why half of the population couldn't vote, it isn't the end of the story. I think we all know that there's still much more to be done to reach full equality in America. But hopefully, it can remind us that our country can make progress. So on this special anniversary, let's pause to celebrate this very important step and then turn back to the work of building a more perfect union. Thank you.